I just planted that cyclamen and then I got the, these chromosia here and there's a nice cyclamen I hope I think that's red and then I, I don't know what that's called and some mums and these little wildflowers here got an azalea not doing too good this one's doing a little bit better and then uh Gosh, I can't remember what they call that right this second. Um, and Chromosia. And then there's some lilies and some more Chromosia. Hellebore. Uh, I got like, those are some kind of iris that's trying to bloom late. And red hot pokers. Got a. Pansy's still coming up, and there's some nice uh, wild cyclamen. They probably, you've probably seen that growing around with ornamental black grass. Look at that ornamental beach grass. Oh yeah, there's some thyme or something, and there's some thyme or something. I don't know what they call that guy. He's got red and white flowers. Hosta. That's what those things are. I got the hostas. I got one geranium, not my favorite, but the color's great. And these were uh, dahlias, and some other dahlias growing over here. And some herbs and such. And then I've been working on this coming down here, where I punched a hole into the aquifer. I actually got this nice little dug these guys out and to saw through a giant log in both of them to dig a hole there but that goes downhill and then I'm cleaning out this little area right here of horsetails and got my fuchsia from poor tortured or Bremerton some other stuff's down here and then this was the giant pile of shredded tree that inspired me to come here and clean up the Lisa, Louisa Boren Memorial Stone. So I guess that's your birthday garden tour there. That's what I've been doing for the last two years, three years. And then over here, a little auxiliary, maybe something back there. And that's it.